Hey again. I just want you for a moment to imagine a swimmer, right? He's swimming, there's a storm, so he's, he's going under the waves. He's swimming under the waves, right? <clears throat> In this storm. And he comes up and takes a deep breath. You know, as many as he can before having to go under again. Why does he do that? Why does he take those deep breaths? Because he needs them to prepare him before he goes under again. Right? Because his body needs that oxygen. And, and you know, in, in our lives we can sometimes be going through times of, of peace and times of, of trouble, you know? And during those times of peace, we often just laze about. Not everyone, but some of us. We, we just laze about and we, we, don't, um, we don't take advantage of that time to prepare before we go into the next storm, before we go under the waves again. You know, in the parable of the ten virgins, Jesus talks about five wise virgins and five foolish ones. And the wise ones, they brought extra oil with them that enabled them to last th through the night until the bridegroom came. But the foolish ones didn't. And they, they didn't make it through the night. And they weren't there when the bridegrooms came. We need to prepare for when the darkness comes. We need to prepare before troubles and persecutions come. We need to take advantage of that time that we have so we can be strengthened in our faith and be close to God as much as possible. You know, but it's not just about, you know, preparing so that we can make it through our trials. Okay? We should delight in the Lord. We should love Him. We should want to be with Him in the good times and in the bad times. You know, it shouldn't just be, oh, I want to be with God because I want to be prepared before I, I, I go through a storm. No, you know, it should be, Lord, I love you. Lord, I delight in you. Lord, I, I just want to be with you all the time, whether it's good or bad. And, and if we're not like that, then, you know, we can pray and ask God to change us. We can, and, and, and I found that the best way to do this is to just open your heart to God and say, Lord, here I am. Just, just, I just want to experience you. You know, I just want to experience you and just taste and know that the Lord is good. And pray because it's, He's the one who does it. And we have to ask. It's good to ask. I mean, imagine that swimmer that I was talking about in the beginning. Imagine coming up out of the waves and not taking a breath and just going down again. He wouldn't last a few seconds, right? It would be foolish to come up out of the waves, out from underwater, and not take a deep breath before going under again. And that's what some of us do sometimes. We, we're, we're in this time of trouble, you know, and we're, we're, we're seeking God, and He's strengthening us, and then, and then the, the trouble goes away, we, we make it through, and then we don't take a deep breath. We don't, we don't just use that time to build ourselves up in the Lord even more. You know, the, the Bible also talks about the armor of God. To put on the full armor. Well, let's do that, guys. Let's put on the full armor of God so we can stand. Because trials are going to come. It tells us, you know, count it joy when you face trials and persecutions. You know, don't, don't, be, don't be surprised when you, when you face trials. They're, they're part of of everyone's life and persecution is part of many Christian lives and you know it's, it's supposed to be, bring steadfastness and testing our faith and, and it strengthens us so let's just pray Heavenly Father I just pray that you would help us to, to, to seek you and delight in you and help us to um, prepare, Lord, you know, when prepare for, for, for the darkness that, that may come. And if we're in, in, in times of trouble now, Lord, I just pray that 
you would strengthen us and help us to seek you and just just be close to you and put on the full armor that you have given us Lord so that we can stand that our faith would be strengthened by you Amen <laughs>